Hey everybody and welcome to episode 305 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, August 31st, 2016. So, uh, Ricky? Yes? Anything uh, new with you, man? Anything to report? Nah, man, I had some pizza for lunch. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, nothing new, nothing, uh, no updates, yeah. nothing, uh, nothing, nothing's think. changed yeah. in your life over the last seven days. Uh, nothing, nothing has come along to completely change your faith in humanity. Well, I mean, the pizza is pretty good, but right. I wouldn't say it's life-changing pizza. All right. Sounds like it's a pretty good time out there in the hallway. <laughs> All right, so uh, if there's nothing new, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll move on. Yeah. Uh, no, wait. Oh, there okay. is something. Okay. My uh, Kickstarter that I was talking about last week that actually got funded already. It's wow. crazy. Wow. Yeah. Slow clap. There go. How many days in? Six days in, and it got funded. So thank you everyone who contributed, and if you haven't contributed, we have a lot of stretch goals planned, like cool stuff, like alternate covers and stickers and T-shirts and. And I'm working on some like print stuff we could do. It's gonna be good. Now, uh, if I'm coming late into the game as a contributor, should I be worried that uh, some reward levels are already sold out, or do you got plenty of rewards to go around? Yeah, the, we still have the rewards available, um, but they're limited to five. But I might just like expand them some more because right. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough DC or Black Lung just got to ship out, but. People want them. I'll print more, man. Turns out you just have like a warehouse full <laughs> yeah, of them? Yeah, I found a warehouse. Yeah. All right, awesome, man. Well, congrats on that. That's huge news. Uh, what was your, like, the previous Kickstarter you did? How many yeah. days did it take? To... That, that took maybe like three weeks to hit his goal. Nice. Which which is, it was $5,000 and this was 4000 but still, it's crazy. Man. All right, well, you're on pace to, like, what, make a million dollars or something? Well, that's somewhere around there. What's the plan here? Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, we got some Funko Pop figures to show you. We've got uh, a new version of Green Arrow and Speedy. Then we've got this awesome Arkham Knight Harley Quinn action figure and Joker uh, the DC, from the DC Comics Icons line of action figures. On to the collected editions, we've got Lois and Clark. This is all uh, eight issues, I believe it was, of uh, DC's Superman, Lois and Clark, which ended up being an integral, integral part of the whole uh, Rebirth storyline. And it features uh, Jonathan Kent, uh, who is the new Superboy. Uh, and it features the return of pre-New 52, uh, Clark Kent. From Marvel, it is the collected version of uh, the first story arc of the smash hit series Black Panther. Star Wars Shattered Empire, The Force Awakens. This uh, is a book that came out a little while ago from Marvel and it was the uh, book that kind of fills in a little bit of the gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. There is a major theory out there on the internet right now that says that this book contains a major spoiler for episode 8 of Star Wars and uh, you'll have to read the book to find out. And then finally today we've got Street Fighter Unlimited Volume 1. This is from Udon and it is entitled The New Journey and contains issues 1 to 4 of Street Fighter Unlimited uh, in this oversized hardcover format. All right, we've got My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue 45 with these two covers. Transformers number 56 with two covers. Art Ops number 11, 4001 AD number four. Spawn number 265 with uh, art by Eric Larson and Todd McFarlane. Here's the regular cover and the black and white pencil cover. Cryptocracy number three from Dark Horse. We've got two covers for Gem and the Holograms number 18. The awesome Chapter House comics book, Fourth Planet, issue number two by our pal Fred Kennedy. Uh, pick this up if you see it on store shelves today. Vikings, issue number four. Street Fighter Unlimited, number nine. The Pitiful Human Lizard, issue number nine. Jupiter's Legacy 2, issue three. Here's Afterlife with Archie, number 10. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number six. Look at that cover by Jamal Campbell. Saga, issue number 37, is a wrap cover. A lot of people looking forward to this book this week. It is a new Turtles ongoing book. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe 
Issue number one from IDW. This is the regular cover. And then we have this cover by Eastman and Laird. This is the blank cover. Here's one of the variants. And the Eastman variants. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we've got Han Solo issue number three. Then we've got the issue number three variant. And we've also got this uh, San Diego uh, Comic-Con exclusive variant for issue number one. Here's X-Men 92 number six, Nova number 10, Uncanny Avengers number 13, Spider-Man issue number seven, Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot number eight. Here's Guardians of the Galaxy number 11 featuring the Tsum Tsum variant and Spider-Gwen number 11. This is the variant cover. Astonishing Ant-Man number 11, Deadpool vs. Gambit number 4, Thunderbolts number 4, Carnage number 11. Here is the Tsum Tsum variant for Miss Marvel number 10, Amazing Spider-Man number 17 with the variant cover for that book, Deadpool vs. Gambit number 4, the all-new Wolverine Annual issue number 1. Here is the all-new Wolverine Annual Scotty Young cover. Then finally today we've got Civil War 2 Choosing Sides number 5. If you're an Alpha Flight fan you'll definitely want to be picking this book up. Uh, but you might also want to pick it up for the variant for the book, which is what we're going to show you now. Yes Canada, it is our equivalent to uh, Barack Obama being on the cover of Amazing Spider-Man. It is our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on the cover of Civil War 2 Choosing Sides number 5, the Canadian variant cover. Um, so look out for this in your store today. Yes, our Prime Minister likes the box from time to time. Uh, the cover is illustrated by Canadian artist Ramon Perez. And uh, this is sure to be a popular book in Canadian stores. I'm not sure how you, you stores down in the States will fare with it or overseas. Uh, but check it out. It's a fun cover and uh, something that will be collectible to be sure. All right, moving on to DC Comics. It's a little bit of a weird uh, week for DC Comics. We're outside of their regular schedule of rotation of Rebirth titles uh, because there's an extra week in the month. So they've decided to release a bunch of annuals and uh, some late books and, and other uh, neat little things uh, to kind of tidy over for the week. Uh, first off, we got our variant covers for Supergirl Rebirth number one the Adam Hughes variants. Uh, these originally shipped a couple weeks back, but they were conspicuously absent from our shipment. Our uh, distributors made it right for us this week and uh, sent us our replacement copies. Justice League of America number nine. This book is extremely late. Uh, you can tell because this is actually the uh, Batman vs Superman variant cover. And the original uh, release of these Batman Superman variant covers was around the time of the Batman vs. Superman movie. Uh, so very late. In fact, um, they cancelled the rest of Justice League of America when Rebirth was announced, but then they recently backpedaled on that and have decided to release the remaining issues of this series uh, just to add a little bit more to the confusion. Uh, so yeah, fun stuff. Gotham Academy Annual. This is a one-shot, as is the DC Comics Bombshells Annual. The Legend of Wonder Woman number 9. Harley Quinn and her Gang of Harleys issue 5 of 6. Earth 2 Society Annual. And Suicide Squad War Crimes Special. This is a one-shot as well. Alright guys, prize time, as it always is. I asked you guys last week for your Kickstarter story, whether it was something that you funded or didn't fund or really wanted to. Um, and we got some pretty awesome answers. Comic Guys Rule says my Kickstarter story is that I have always wanted to, but never have. Not sure why. Maybe my first comic will be someone's Kickstarter who shall remain nameless. Cough, cough. Ricky, wink, wink. Dude, do it. Fun, fun the book. It's a good book, man. Check it out. Check it out. Please, Comic Guys Rules, make your first Kickstarter campaign. My Kickstarter campaign, that'd be fantastic. <clears throat> um, Libby McEckerin said, gonna start a GoFundMe to raise $500 so Ricky has to take me on a date. Hashtag Kickstarter addicted. Uh, yeah, for 500 bucks, you could go on a date with me on the Kickstarter. I figured no one's gonna take it, so I was like, you guys are making the most ridiculous tier ever. Apparently Libby's gonna go and do a GoFundMe. So go over there and fund that so that she could go and uh, fund my thing. Probably the weirdest answer we got was Uncle Jesse who said, my hot dog wants to know where is the Kickstarter for Stadium Comics Mustard. Yeah. You know what, if your hot dog needs our mustard, 
We'll hook you up, man. Kevin, do you have a sweet mustard recipe or what? Best mustard recipe you've ever seen. Kevin's got one, man. He's got one in the bank. But the winner who will be going into the uh, box at the end of this episode, who and will be doing the draw, um, goes to Obi Juan, who says, my short-lived infatuation with Kristen Bell led me to pledging $10 on Kickstarter to make the Veronica Mars movie. My infatuation with Ricky will probably lead me to give him money too. I'm no Veronica Mars, but damn it, I try. Damn it, I try. I remember when Veronica Mars Kickstarter came out, it was huge, man. People were like, it was like one of the biggest ones at the time. It was crazy, man. People were all over it. So, I don't know. Glad you could be a part of that. Time to do the draw for all the unboxing quotes. We got uh, Obi-Wan who just did his today. Chuka cha That goes in there. We have uh, the begging boarding bad boy from last week who said uh, Mr. T pities everyone. And uh, he's happy that Mr. T is pitying everyone. So that's going in the box there. Chuka cha We got uh, one from R2 Puppet who uh, wants to see a Squirrel Girl sitcom come out. So he's going in the box. One kid posse one uh, who says that Mole Man is the best hipster because he's so underground. Hoo hoo. That was a good one. So he's going in the box. And finally, we got Juan Typhoon who said, Roll out the barrel and use polka music for the new Spider Man movie. He really wants polka and the new Spider Man movie. So he's going in the box. They go in the box. We're going to. Mix them up, mix them up. And we're gonna draw one. All right, what did we draw here? R2 Puppet, who said uh, Squirrel Girl should get her own sitcom. So congratulations, R2 Puppet. Oops. You uh, will be getting a comic box or box in the near future. So send all your information over to info at comicboxer.com. So for this week's question, we got Justin Trudeau on the cover of Choosing Sides. So what I really want to know from you guys is what politician from your area would be on a comic and which comic would it be? Uh, first you're going to have to tell us where you live. Sorry. And then you're going to have to tell us what's this politician, what books he's going to be in and why. So uh, you know, we have Justin Trudeau on the cover of Choosing Sides, but if it was Branton, we'd have our mayor on the cover of, no, if it was our mayor, we'd have our mayor on the cover of Plants vs. Zombies because Brampton is known as the flower state and we're very beautiful with flowers. So there you go, that's a good one, yeah. So let us know what politician in your area would be on which comic and why. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. We laughed, we cried, we loved this week. Uh, Ricky did a lot of laughter, crying, and loving with his Kickstarter. Yeah, man, it was campaign. crazy. Like, I was sitting there the first day and we hit like 18,000. 18,000? 18,000. 1800. And I was like, oh my god, is this, is this ever going to stop? Is this real life? And then it stopped. And I was like, alright, that's good. And then the next day, it was, we almost hit 1,000 again. And I was like, what's happening? I was freaking this whole, out. This dude. whole world of Kickstarter intrigues me, man. It's crazy. It's an adrenaline rush. I'm, I'm super sure. thankful, man. Awesome, man. Well,. Uh, you can expect to hear more uh, yeah. about Ricky's basically, comic. Yeah. It's basically like all about Ricky's comic in the coming weeks. Uh, but we also have other awesome stuff to show you. Uh, but Ricky will argue that it pales in comparison to his book. Exactly. Uh, so check that out at the link in the description below. Um, you can uh, talk with us socially on any of the networks you see here on the screen at the user ID at Stadium Comics. And we'll see you guys all next time for episode 306 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week.